Malaysia yesterday recorded the seventh highest number of daily new COVID-19 cases per capita in the world. According to data tracker Our World in Data, Malaysia also ranked 17th among countries with the highest number of new COVID-19 deaths per capita, with 5.25 fatalities per million people on a seven-day rolling average. Azrul Muhammad Kalib, CEO of the Galen Center for Health and Social Policy, told FMT he believed this was a result of a combination of factors, including spreader events linked to political, religious and cultural activities, the emergence of the Delta mutation and also the ineffectiveness of lockdown measures. He said the authorities needed to look at data linked to rising hospital admissions, ICU rates and deaths, which would clearly tell how Malaysia's public health measures had produced mixed, inconsistent and unsustainable results. Don't keep repeating the same thing we did previously, hoping for different results. The situation in Malaysia today is not the same as this time last year. Epidemiologist Vinogri KS noted that vaccinations had been ramped up, but also said it was unlikely that cases would peak by the end of August, due to the appearance of new variants of concern. She told FMT the new Lambda mutation had already shown higher infectivity than the Gamma and Alpha variants, as well as immune evasion from neutralizing antibodies. She said Putrajaya had relaxed SOPs too soon, as deadly variants were most probably already in the community. Vinogari also said the move to shorten the quarantine period for international travelers to 10 days was a horrible decision, attributing it to the variant's arrival in Malaysia. Variants of concern can show results that are false negatives. This has led to their domination in the community with higher and faster infection rates and an increase in severe cases and deaths among all age groups.